welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second episode of this series building a capsule wardrobe now or at least trying to it's a very hard task for a fashion blogger i have to admit but i'm really motivated the question is will i wear colors again i love it So here I was keeping my, well, still keeping, my tank tops and my t-shirts there and because they were so jam-packed, like you're gonna see in a minute, they are mainly like white, it is really impossible to even understand, like in the end of the day I end up like not wearing things that I love because I forget that I have them because I cannot see them. <laughs> Does it make sense? <laughs> Terrible. So the aim of today, of course, is again to reduce the number of pieces and also to, you know, be able to grab them properly. And while we're here, I'm going to show you in case you missed last month's episode when we did the dresses and this is how they look now and this is what I meant. There is an empty hanger because I wore one dress over the weekend and it's in the wash now and look this is so much nicer if you see in the other episode how they look like before it was terrible so i'm really proud on how this is going now so today we are doing camisoles and uh, tank tops i was gonna do like tops in general and then i realized that i have way too many so we're gonna do camisole and tank tops today and then on a different episode we're gonna do t-shirts and on again on a different episode we're gonna do blouses so as i did for the dresses and if you haven't watched that episode we're gonna link it up here as i did for the dresses i've tried everything on and then i've decided what was staying and what is going now for tank tops and camisoles i have way more than dresses if you remember from the previous episode we decluttered all the dresses to 13 in total and uh, that was not possible for this category because yeah i wear them much more i have much more styles but i did find a system that i'm gonna share with you and the way i'm gonna do it today i'm gonna explain you what i'm keeping and what i'm getting rid of and i'm gonna uh, explain you also why in case you want to get some inspiration for your own closet and instead of explaining every single piece because I have these hanging here, but I also have some more that is more like cotton pieces and if I try them on all, this, this video is going to be like an hour. So I thought the way we do it, like you're going to hear my voice and then you're going to see me trying them on. So I think it's a good way to optimize the video. Okay, first of all, when I was going through all my tops basically, I realized that I did have some colors, some blues or like some prints, but I'm not wearing them much. So I tend to always wear black, white, beige, cream, brown, and this is the only colors I'm keeping. So I'm getting rid of all the colors basically. So <laughs> the question is, will I wear colors again? any time in my life maybe but since i don't know if the day that i will decide to wear color maybe if i will still like the styles that i had or um, there is some prints like gingham especially like i had some i still like maybe the only gingham i still like is like black and white but i had some blue gingham some yellow because it was very popular last year all of those are going. I'm not feeling like wearing them at all anymore. So after I've decided which color we're staying and which color I'm actually wearing every day, I thought about the style. Now, there is mainly three styles I like in camisoles and tank tops, and it is either like silk camisoles, I think they are like a staple in every woman wardrobe. I wear them all year long, like in summer just with shorts or jeans, but also in winter I wear them a lot. 
underneath blazer. So for me, it's like a all year round. So the silk camisoles are like staying. I wear them loads and I'm probably gonna add some more in the future. But that is like a category that I really love. I had some light blue or like some colors, so I'm getting rid of those and I'm only keeping the black and white. And this is sort of like dark pink. Is it? It's a nice color, but I don't know. <laughs> so basically, in this, I have four. So I have this that we couldn't really define the color, mauve maybe, but a light one. <laughs> I have one white and I have two blacks and these I wear all year round and they're like very good pieces. I think every girl should have silk camisoles in their wardrobe, especially like the monochrome one. It's like if you want to, for example in fall, like I wear a lot like jeans, a silk camisole and a blazer. I think that you can dress up the outfit a bit with a camisole rather than a t-shirt. I like both ways but you know what I mean, like when you want to spice up a bit you can go with a silk camisole. So as I said I have four and the first one, this one, it is from another stories and it's the only one like this that I have. That The strings here are adjustable and then it kind of wears as a detail of the top because you have like the little ribbon that comes on the side and it's very cute and then this is new it's from Cezanne it looks a lot like lingerie and I really like it and then the other two in black that I've got they were in a recent haul we can link it if you want to see them in the haul I go through the fabric composition and the price and everything but this is from me and M is a bit more of an understated one, like no loads of details. While this one, it's similar but, but different, is from Ivy and Oak. And again, you have all these really nice lace at the front that I think, again, this is pieces that are gonna wear a lot also in the winter. So I have four camisoles that I'm staying. To be honest with you, maybe, it could have only been one of the black, but I think that, as I said, I'm gonna wear them so much in the winter that I'm keeping two in case that one is in the wash or at the dry clean. So, one white, one darker color, <laughs> and two black. The second category that we're going through now, it is what I call summer cute tops. <laughs> it's basically like a sleeveless blouse, so something that you wear in the summer when you want to be a bit more dressy, but it's very hot, so you can't really wear like a real blouse with sleeves, and you have all this embroidery and glass, or like this type of fabric with a bit of a ruffle that I normally style either with denim shorts or like during the day, or with jeans and heels in the evening, and it's tops that I wear loads in the summer and it's tops that before I had, as I mentioned before, in like gingham or a bit more prints. I think I had a couple of florals as well. But again, got rid of all the colors and currently I have one, two, three. This for me is a different category. So like I have three in white. I think I wouldn't mind a black one as well, but I don't have it. <laughs> So probably if I need another blouse again, like, it will be most probably black. Also, they're all of three from Cezanne. So if you look for something like this, this kind of blouses, I think Cezanne does really, really pretty ones. And all of these, of course, I know that it is high summer now and I know that by the time this video goes up, it's gonna be end of August because it's always the last Tuesday of every month. But I also know that we travel quite a lot in the winter as well, so we go to a bit warmer or like nicer weather destination and I know that lots of people do that. So I think it's very good pieces to have in your wardrobe because then they're quite hard to find in the winter when it's winter collections. And these are quite, you know, a white cute top with some ruffle or like a little bit of a lace it is quite a classic so they don't really go out of style in a few months 
the next little group is more like casual tank top but that I like to dress up. Like these subcategories are very specific. So one is this one from another stories. So I did wear this a lot at the beginning of the summer underneath blazers and I'm planning on wearing this a lot also on holidays. And then here, sorry because I have them folded, is these two cotton tops. I really like the cut of this season. So is I have one black and one white. Now, this is something, especially the white, because I fake tan, but both of them really like that you wear and wash it, so, because I wear this quite often. In a way, I'd like to have more, so for now, I'm only, but because I didn't have anything really similar to this from previous seasons, so I'm only having two, one black and one top. Now, how did I declutter this? I did have loads of cotton tan top. I'm not getting rid of them really, I am shifting them to the gym wardrobe, like gym drawer. <laughs> so all of the other cut, different cut tank top that I've got, I'm still going to use them but I'm not going to really style them in my everyday looks or outfits but I'm going to wear them at the gym. So it's you know, kind of getting rid of that, but still making a good use of that. Actually, <laughs> I went to check the pile and I found another one. So this is from Redon. Um, it came in the winter, so I haven't worn it yet, but it is a style that I really liked already before it became so trendy this season. So I do have two black ones, but they are slightly different. This will be more like revealing on the shoulder while the other one I'm gonna try it on in a second is a bit like more high neck so they're like again similar but different and I'm keeping both of them. Another subcategory of like sleeveless top that I really like wearing in summertime is crochet. I love it, I love the vintage feeling of it and I've got three and the third one leads me to the next subcategory which is like crop top that I love wearing in two different ways but I'll tell you in a second. So I've got this one, it is from another store, it's white crochet button down, very cute. And the other one that I've got is from Cezanne. I think this is sold out at the moment but I'm gonna double check, really love this color as well. And the third one, it is from Storage and it looks this one. I haven't worn it yet, unfortunately, because I took it with me last time that we went to Italy in like one of my outfits. So if you look, there is a video with like a few outfits that I styled when I went to Italy last month. But then it was too hot and I was planning on wearing this underneath the blazer and I didn't have the chance yet. But it looks really, really nice. Almost through all the subcategories. As mentioned before, it is crop tops. Now, I only have three because I like it a lot, either underneath a blazer or at the beach. I have three and I feel it's more than enough. And the other one is from Orson and Iris, so it is kind of designer one. It's very expensive but as I mentioned this when I showed you in a haul, it was like a big summer haul, we can link that as well. I'm also planning on wearing this over a t-shirt so I can use it I believe also in the fall. So my idea would be like white t-shirt, this one on top and then a blazer. So love this. Kind of an investment piece because it is a lot of money for such a crop top, but it's a cute one. And this one that I wore a lot when I was in Italy last month and I also wore it a lot at the beach as a bra. So I was wearing like black high waisted bikini bottom and this and then a white linen shirt on top. It was a kind of a look for like late afternoon at the beach so I don't know if you kind of want to put that effort to recreate the look but it was really cute. <laughs> and then to finish there is another subcategory of tank tops that I'm keeping. I feel like we almost need a diagram like... <laughs> Anyways it all makes sense so I'm keeping one stripy tank top. I feel that I used to wear stripes a lot and now I feel that it is probably too casual for me 
but this is a quite old one from Isabel Moran, still like holding up quite well and it's linen and I think that you know it's good to have at least one stripe tank top that I'm keeping in my wardrobe and then I'm keeping another few that these are like from my tea Alexander Wang I bought them in the winter in the sale the reason why I bought this so there is like one sleeveless tank top and then one is like sleeveless but is a bit more of the wide shoulder these are great in the winter for layering they're really long and I use them a lot in the winter to layer under big knitwear sometimes because if some sweaters are like itchy I wear a tank top underneath or even if I want to show a bit of a detail like in between you know like when you layer sweater and you see a little stripe of cotton underneath so I think those are great for layering this was Isabel Moran as well tank top and I have two more very similar from Zadig and Voltaire one dark grey and one white and I'm keeping all of these you know sometimes either in the summer you want to put something like really quick that you don't want to think too much so it's just good to have those basic there ready to wear and also as I said they like great layering pieces for the winter so I'm keeping thing five yeah again like very monochromatic and that's it really I hope you enjoyed the second episode of this big decluttering series like trying to build a capsule wardrobe trying to be sensitive with how many pieces I have in my wardrobe like what I really wear what I don't wear really so I really hope you enjoyed it if you haven't seen the first episode that was dresses we're gonna leave a link down below and I'll see you in the next video bye